The Ghana Red Cross Society will be deploying volunteers across the country to respond to health emergencies in the country's general elections. The Red Cross Society has been at the forefront of administering first aid services to the sick and others in situation, emergency situations. I have in the studio Samuel Kofi Ado. He is the secretary General Secretary of uh, Ghana Red Cross Society here. Thanks so much, Mr. Ado, for joining us here. Thank we are you. so grateful to you. Is this the first time the Red Cross Society is embarking on such a project? No, but this time we are embarking on it in a massive scale because currently we have over 60,000 volunteers. And once you register as a member of the Ghana Red Cross, we teach you first aid. And we know that during the elections, all the 60,000 volunteers would be going to vote. So even whilst in the queue, they are equipped so that in case somebody out of exhaustion falls down, he knows how to administer CPR or how to resuscitate the person. Okay. Well, uh, I'm a bit surprised you say that this is not the first time because uh, over the years during the election period, we haven't seen visibly uh, you know, Red Cross members on the ground at polling stations? We have always been there. Maybe it's the cameras not capturing our people in action. For example, for this particular elections, we have 6,000 people that we are training as part of our emergency response team. And we are going to equip them and they will be at the various flashpoints together with as part of the national emergency response team to support in terms of giving first aid. Well, so uh, with regards to the previous elections, what exactly, you know, what really did go into, um, you know, the Red Cross Society? What actually did you do? What we did yeah. was that first we reorientated our emergency response teams and then we identified the various flashpoints. We gave them first aid kits and then there also we linked them up with ambulance services as part of the national emergency response team and then the hospitals. So as soon as there's anybody who requires first aid, they rush in, give the first aid, and then support in carrying the person to the health facility that we've linked them to. Have we had um, you know, um, ambulances at our various polling stations in our previous elections? No. Unfortunately for us as Red Cross, we don't have enough ambulances. But what we do is that in addition to the few that we have, we also deploy all our emergency response vehicles to be part of the operation. And so that's what we are going to do. Well, so you said currently you have trained about... Um, 6,000. How, how ready, you know, are your uh, team? You know, luckily, for team a, team luckily for us also, these are teams also that we use in terms of when there's disaster, when there's health emergencies. So they are always on the alert. Within three, four hours that you give them a signal, they are always ready for deployment. So we are doing, and then what uh, we are doing is that the International Committee of the Red Cross is supporting us in terms of equipment for the first aid, in terms of stretchers, in terms of uh, the first aid kits that we are going to use. Well, so um, what kind of arrangements have been done with regards to the uh, upcoming general elections? First, uh, as part of the National Emergency Response Team, we are seeing how we can synchronize our activities. So when at that forum, what we do is we link up when, Red, when there's a situation, Red Cross administers first aid where we can transport the person, we transport the casualty to the nearest health facility or we call in ambulance service. The police are also there in terms of maybe it being the cause of a rowdiness, then they create the space for us to administer the first aid. And so the team is poised, you know, for action. For action. And they've been trained to have that confidence because luckily for us, because of the emblem, because of also the reputation that we have and because also of the principles and values that we hold. Because one, we are independent, we are neutral, we are not looking at you as to whether you belong to party A or party B, that's why you are wounded. Once you are wounded, you are wounded and out of the principles and values that we have, we must attend to you. And I think people respect that principle, that value that we have, so they give us that room to operate. You said, finally, you said that it is going to be nationwide. How nationwide. resourced are you? We to are back on this unfortunately, uh, nationwide project. We are not well resourced, and that's why we are calling on corporate Ghana to come on board and join us. We just need simple things, first, simple first aid kits, which is bandages, plasters, things that simple first aid that we need in terms of uh, giving support and assistance to people. 
Thank you very much for joining us here uh, to throw more light on this particular issue for us. I have been speaking uh, with uh, Samuel Kofi Ado, and he is the uh, Secretary General of Ghana Red Cross Society. This is Midday Life. Let's